Hi there, this is Paige with Stamp Girl here on YouTube and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to share with you the project I made for the Boxer Bay Get Up collab. This is a small collab that I'm doing with my friend Jill and each month we look for gift packaging ideas and recreate them and share them with each other and with all of you who join us on YouTube. So for my project this week I made two boxes. Um, just because I had to cut up two pieces of 6x6 six six paper anyway and it turned out to be enough to make two of them. And this idea comes from Catherine who is in the pink designs by Catherine here on YouTube. And I don't know that the box has a particular name other than this is the little box. It has a really sturdy bottom. It starts out with an eight by six and a half sheet of cardstock, and then um, I'll leave a link below so you can find all the scoring and cutting directions on her video. But um, I used some old Gina K designs um, pattern paper when she used to sell pattern paper packs, and I believe this cardstock is also from Gina K and one of her. Um, paper collections. And then I just went in my stash and found some yellow paper flowers. This ribbon was from Gina K, and I just cut a little piece and looped it around and used it as leaves. And then the two um, bows, ribbons at the top for the bows are also Gina K ribbon from old um, card kits that she used to sell. And the flowers came with um, they were from Michaels. They came with the, excuse me, the pearls inside already. So the, the box itself, um, is, uh, about two and an eighth, two and a quarter inches wide. Standing up, it's about four and a half inches, including this little topper part. Um, from the part that you would fill, it's about three and a half inches here. And then it is an, an inch and a half deep. Now the person who made this box made it to fit a large container of Tic Tacs. And I didn't have any of those in my stash, but I thought the box was cute enough. Um, to hold other items and then let me just open it up so you can take a peek inside. So there's two flaps to, that help hold the contents in and well let me just pull this all the way out. I can always put it back, right? So if this helps, here's the inside of the box. So let's see, I've got a, that's a little too, it's a little too tall. Um, I don't know that I have anything handy that would fit in here. Maybe a couple bottles of stickles or matte medium or something like that would fit in there nicely. I'm sure some candy treats would fit in there as well. I'm sure you can be creative and find some other things to put inside. But anyway, that is my project share. I will leave a link down below to Jill's channel and I'll leave a link down below to Catherine's video where she shows how to make these boxes. I'd like to thank you for joining me and now I'm off to create.